What is up guys, it is Wyatt, and today I have a freaking awesome video for you guys. I've been waiting quite some time to make this video for you, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And as the title implies, today I am finally revealing all of the stuff that is gonna be going into this new drag truck that we're building, and it's all gonna take place right here on this channel. So I'm just gonna kick things off by saying, make sure you guys are subscribed, because over the next couple months, we're gonna be putting a ton of work into this thing, and I hope you guys are as pumped for it as I am. But with that being said, I want to take a quick flashback to last week. Uh, in the last video, I had mentioned that we were working on a Peterbilt 330 semi truck, uh, doing some kind of cool stuff to it. We put a brand new engine in it. We also built a set of custom compound turbos for the truck. So I'm gonna show you guys that real quick because a ton of you were interested in that project. I didn't film a whole lot of it, but I will be giving you an overview of the truck. And yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into that and then we will jump into today's video. Well guys, here she is in all of her glory. Finally got the truck done. This is that big Peterbilt project that we were working on that I mentioned in the last video. So this thing is a private coach of one of my dad's buddies and it is a 96 Peterbilt 330. Pretty cool truck, got the nice big sleeper on it. He uses it to haul his horses and stuff. And I'm actually looking for something pretty similar for this to haul the race truck and Hayden's race car around. So being able to work on this and drive it around a bunch has really just solidified that I have to buy one now. Uh, but this thing's pretty badass. So we finally got it running. We put a brand new engine in this thing. It's got an 8.3 liter C series Cummins engine in it, uh, 12 valve. Uh, and that thing is running great. And we also fabricated the compound turbos for it. So let's go ahead, pop the hood. And as you can see here, we got a big turbo up top here and our little turbo down here. Let me go ahead and shut it off so you guys can hear me a little better. So with the engine off, you can hear me a little better. Uh, we did just finish this truck up. Like I said, a badass whole build kind of on it. We did the engine. We also built these compound turbos for it uh, with the help of Hayden over at Meticulous. And these things turned out absolutely sweet. So down there on the manifold, we have a Borg Warner S362, which is kind of a little bit larger than in the stock turbo that would have came on this truck. Um, and it's just what was on it when it came in. So that's what we decided to reuse on the manifold. We had our local turbo builder go through it, put a billet wheel in it, and also rebuilt the internal. So it's got new bearings, new seals, all that stuff. And that billet wheel is just gonna help it spool up just a little bit quicker. So that's why we went that route. And then up top here, we have a Borg Warner S475. This is just a box stock 400 series turbo. It's got a cast 75 millimeter wheel in it. And from that guy, you just got your piping, runs into the compressor side of your small turbo. And then that guy runs over here into our intercooler. And uh, some really cool parts on here. I don't know if you guys can see it real well, but that flange right there is from Streetcar Fabrication. And those guys are freaking awesome. I called them on a Friday night, way after business hours. And he said he would get it knocked out. He didn't have any in stock, but Went in Saturday, got it knocked out for me, overnighted it Monday morning so that we could get this thing done for the customer and done on time. So huge thanks to them, uh, a bunch of other companies as well for overnighting me a bunch of parts for this thing. Uh, but yeah, it turned out really cool. So I'm gonna put a couple little clips in right now that I took on my phone uh, when we got it started and when we were driving it. And then we're gonna jump into today's video. Pounds of boost. Yeah, it went, it went. <laughs> so all in all, a really cool project. I don't know if I had mentioned earlier, but we also put a brand new engine in that truck. Uh, this go around while we did the compound turbo setup. Uh, so yeah, like I said, just not sure if I mentioned that earlier or not, but that is what the truck was mainly here for was the brand new engine and also the compound turbos. Uh, but it's done, it's running really good. The guy's gonna come pick it up tomorrow and I'm kind of excited to be back working on stuff that isn't so heavy. That thing was a pain in the ass to work on because everything weighs quadruple what it should. But anyways, let's roll the intro and get into today's video.
Well guys, this thing here behind me is going to be the new race truck, or at least the body of it is going to be. Now this thing has seen better days, and the reason I chose to build this truck in particular is because it's been in the family ever since it was new, and I just wanted to kind of have it live on. Now this thing has kind of a long and sordid history. Uh, my great uncle actually purchased the truck brand new in 1970. The truck, like I said, has seen better days. This was actually an immaculate truck in about 2012. I'll post a picture on the screen right over here. And in that picture, it was right before one of our local cruise nights here in Colorado, uh, where a bunch of old vehicles come out. They kind of cruise up and down Main Street. And we had just polished the truck up to do that. That is what that picture is from. Uh, but then this truck went on to get in a couple accidents and there was a couple of times we fixed it. Uh, one accident it got in was while we were up elk hunting, a jackass came around a blind corner on an icy road and just fucking slammed right into the truck. So that kind of sucked. So the truck was down for about two years after that. That brought us to about 2014 or so. Uh, after that, I took it upon myself to kind of get the truck straightened out a little bit. I put a different bumper on it, kind of straightened the fenders out on it and got the truck back up and running again. And then after that, we were driving the truck, almost daily driving it pretty much uh, for probably a year or so after that. And then one day out of the blue, some lady asshole was drunk at about noon and decided to turn right in front of me. So I was going straight down the road and she was making a left-hand turn across traffic to go down a street. Like I said, she was drunk, turned right out in front of me about 10 feet ahead of me. Uh, it was a wet day out and this thing has drum brakes on all four corners. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to stop. There's really nowhere to go. There's traffic behind her. There's nothing on the right side of the road. And this is a picture of the truck after that accident. And as you can see, the thing was pretty much smoked after that point. Uh, the lady, as far as I know, ended up getting a DUI. The most ironic part about it is she worked for the local county sheriff's office. So I'm sure that went over well, uh, who the hell knows. But anyways, insurance claimed the truck a complete loss. So we didn't really do anything with it. It's been sitting about five years. Uh, and then I just decided that, you know, I've always kind of liked the truck. I've always liked these older trucks and I'm going to turn it into a freaking drag truck. I know it's not exactly the lightest thing to be doing, but uh, I think it'll be pretty cool nonetheless. So there is some stuff I want to get cleaned up on this thing first. I want to get the topper off of it and get all the stuff out of the bed. And then we're going to start tearing this thing apart and just get the cab and bed separated from the frame. Pretty much the same as we did with this other truck over here. As you can see, this rolling frame from the last video. Uh, so that's pretty much what this one's gonna end up as at the end of this video. And then we're gonna start kind of test fitting everything, kind of see how much it's gonna take to do what I want to do with this thing. And then we'll go over kind of what my plans for the truck are. So unfortunately, the afternoon got away from me. As you guys can see, it is now dark outside. So yeah, there's that. Uh, I did a little bit on the truck, but I didn't film it, as you guys can see. I got the topper removed and I also put on a different set of wheels so that we can move this thing around a little easier. But I promise I'm going to film everything else now. So the topper's out and the bed's kind of cleaned out. As you guys can see, it's pretty clean, pretty straight and not a bad looking truck. Uh, so anyways, I guess to pull the cab is the next part and all we got to do is unhook the steering shaft up here. Uh, maybe unhook the brake booster and stuff and some little wiring things. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into doing that.
don't you cuss on my video, I'll be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> so not gonna lie, kinda got out of hand and we just started doing things here. So we're just test fitting the cab on the frame and kinda looking at this, I am so fricked, it's unreal. This thing's gonna be a pain in the ass to get low, uh, but it's what we're gonna do, so yeah. I got Wes in here, good buddy of mine. He is starting to get the carpet out of the cab so that we can start making some cuts on the tunnel here. Uh, so we're gonna take some measurements and get a really clean cut along this thing here and kind of get that cut out of the way. I already anticipated on doing that because there's no way it's gonna fit over this massive transmission. Uh, the biggest thing that I'm worried about right now is our hood clearance. So the hoods on these are pretty tall and they do stay pretty flat along the whole plane of this. Uh, but by the time I get this down low where I want it and the correct fender to wheel clearance that I want, uh, it's going to be cutting it really close. So what we're working on for right now is just getting the tunnel cut and getting the cab kind of down on the frame. And then we will see kind of uh, where the cab needs to be and if we need to cut into the cab to actually lower on the frame some more. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. So we're going to jump into that and see how far we get. It's already pretty late. I think it's like 8, 8.30. And of course, we're already like, uh, what, 10 Coronas deep. So fuck it, let's, uh, let's get a little bit done here and see how Does it look pretty sick, dude? All right, guys, we got a little carried away again and got the cab kind of set down here on the frame. And we still need to go a little bit lower, but we're gonna stop here for tonight. It's looking awesome though. Uh, we still got quite a bit of fender to tire clearance here. So I wanna take probably another three inches out of that. Uh, the biggest thing, like I said, we're fighting is our hood clearance here. So as you can see, we stuck one of our turbos on there. So just a little glimpse of the turbo setup we're gonna be running. It will be a compound setup and that is our small charger so make a video about those later on uh but yeah just a little snip bit i don't know is it called a snip bit a sneak peek <laughs> do not take that one out of the cab cover i ain't showing them that that's for a later video but anyways we put the turbo on there so we can kind of see our hood clearance here and uh i don't know how well the gopro is going to pick it up because it does that weird fish eye shit but uh you can kind of see there we have another couple inches between the top of the hood line and the turbo so another two inches there and then i can always lower the chassis a little bit lower the suspension um, i'm trying not to do that as much as i can i'd really love to just lower the cab onto the chassis more uh, but you know it's that fine line you can only go so much so that's what we are working on uh, we definitely need to trim the firewall some more and that stuff i'll work on tomorrow but we're getting ready to call it a night so yeah it's looking pretty sick huh i'm happy with it dude it's gonna look badass oh yeah oh yeah, oh, fuck yeah. we need to drink a 12 pack of ronas more often that's how <laughs> we got all this shit done but uh yeah i'll give you guys a little side shot here before we call it a night i don't know how well you can see it here but anyways it's getting down there uh like i said another two inches lower on the frame is what i'd really like so we'll see if we can get there tomorrow with a little bit of trimming uh but yeah Anything to say? Shit yeah, buddy. Shit yeah, buddy. <laughs> cool. Well, that's where I'm going to leave off, and I will resume recording tomorrow. I shouldn't drink so much. I slur, I slur my <laughs> words. So anyways, that is where we'll leave off, and I'll see you guys in just a second, and it will be tomorrow. Well, guys, it's been a couple of days since those last few clips were actually filmed. I got kind of busy with customer work, so I got caught up on that yesterday and today. And now we have just a little bit more time to work on the truck. 
So I didn't film a whole lot more of what I was doing on the truck, but I did get a couple more things cut out of the cab. And then I got the cab set down on the frame and it's looking pretty badass. So I'm gonna show you guys that and then I'm gonna tell you guys kind of what the build plan is for this truck. Well guys, there you have it. We got the cab sitting down on the frame and I have it outside here so we can see it in all of its beauty and ugliness. <laughs> it's a little bit rough right now, but we're gonna address that later. So in the clips that I filmed earlier, the cab was actually sitting a little bit higher on the frame than it is right now. So I've got it about another two inches lower from where it was the other night when I was filming. And I'm really happy about it. It's looking pretty good. Uh, it's actually as low as I'm gonna be able to set the cab down on the frame because with the turbo setup we're gonna be running, this turbo right now is actually already a little bit high uh, to clear the hood. So I do wanna run a full hood on this thing and I do not wanna run a cowl induction hood. I don't really like the look of those. So I'm trying to keep everything below the hood line so that we can shut the hood and have no clearance issues. And that is what's kind of limiting me for how much I can drop the cab down on this frame. Uh, theoretically, I could cut the cab floor out a little bit and still lower this thing a ton, but then we're gonna run into clearancing issues with shutting the hood. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I did have to cut out some more stuff in the interior to make all of this fit. So I'll show you that right now. So in here, I had to take and trim out the side of this uh, tunnel here and the firewall a little bit to make everything sit down on here. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. It's not uh, too intrusive. It doesn't sit up into the cab too much, the transmission, transfer case, all that stuff. Uh, so it's actually gonna fit pretty well. Obviously, I'm gonna have to build a custom firewall slash floor pan kind of deal to cover all this, but that's all gonna be pretty easy stuff. I'm just happy that it actually fits in there pretty well. Uh, another thing I need to do is I actually wanna trim this thing out a little bit more over here. And that way, if we ever need to work on this thing, it'll be really easy to pull that kind of cover off and then be able to get the transmission bolts or the back of the engine or whatever we need to do there. Uh, so that's kind of the biggest thing I'm fighting right now is just making sure there's enough clearance for everything. But it's actually looking pretty good and I'm actually really happy with how it's all fitting so far. Uh, I do have about an inch and a half between the floorboard to the frame. So if I need to, I can lower it a little bit more or I will have plenty of room to build some nicer body mounts for it. So as it sits right now, it's fitting really good and I'm happy with it. And this is about as low as the cab's gonna be. Now I do plan to lower the suspension a little bit more in the future. So we will be building some custom control arms on this thing, uppers and lowers, and then going to a coil over front suspension. Uh, and that will allow us to lower the front of the truck down probably another two inches. And then I will be happy kind of where it sits. I don't need the thing in the weeds, but I do want it nice and low so that it's stable at high speeds because that's kind of what the truck's built, being built for. So uh, yeah. Another thing that is actually working out better than I thought it was gonna be was our firewall to engine clearance. So a lot of classes mandate you have to have like a factory appearing firewall, an unmodified floor pan. Uh, there's some class restrictions on where you can move the engine, whether you move it back, down, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but where it sits right now, I'm actually pretty happy with it. So the fender is pretty centered with the wheel wheel to the wheel, and that's kind of aligning our cab front and back, which is good. And then our firewall to engine clearance is also really good now because we'll have room to route our exhaust over here for our compound turbo setup. And also if we need to work on the back side of the engine, uh, it'll be easy to get back there to do so. So anyways, what I'm getting at is I'm really happy with how the cab is lining up on the chassis so far. Uh, I thought there was gonna be a lot more cutting and a lot more you know, having to do custom fitment and building all kinds of parts to make this thing fit. But as it sits right now, I am really happy with it and I'm not gonna have to do a whole lot more to get the cab where I want it. So that being said, there's still a ton to do on this thing. I am ordering today a ton of parts for the truck. So like I showed you guys earlier in the video, this thing wasn't a wreck. So I gotta order all new body panels. So I'm gonna get this new cowl, I'm getting fenders, I gotta get a hood. Um, I'm also getting a replacement firewall piece for this cause this part all got crunched up in the wreck. Uh, I'm getting rocker panels and just pretty much everything that I need to complete the cab on this thing. My goal is to get the cab like completely ready to go and then we'll get it mounted to the frame, start building our other stuff around that. Uh, but the biggest thing is getting the cab completely rust free. Uh, rust on these things is like cancer and it just keeps spreading. So I wanna get that dealt with first before we dive into the build too much more. 
So that's gonna put us back about a week, week and a half um, until we get those parts and then we can start working on that stuff. But the biggest thing I wanted to show you guys today was just kinda getting the cab on here and kinda go over the build plans. So with that being said, I figure I'll let you guys in on what the truck's gonna become. I'm gonna keep it nice and short and sweet. So like I had mentioned earlier, the front is getting coilovers. We're doing all that stuff. The truck is gonna remain four wheel drive. It's getting the 1200 horsepower Duramax engine we're building. Today I'm gonna to be working on that. So that video will be coming out in the next few days after this one. And for the back side of the truck, we are going to be doing a complete tubular back half and four link. So it's gonna be a whole lot of custom fabrication stuff. And I have a lot of the stuff ordered for that already. So the full tubular back half, like I said, is gonna be a really cool deal. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with that, pretty much what we're gonna be doing is cutting the frame rails off right here and then building the rest of the back of the truck out of tube, like a inch and five eighths chrome molly or something like that. Along with the back half and the four link, we are also gonna be cutting a lot of weight out of this bed. So what we're going to be doing is only using the bed sides for the truck. So that's why I'm not too worried about the fitment of this thing right now, because I can position the bedside wherever the heck I want it once the four link and the back half is done. So long story short, all we're gonna have is the bed sides hung on the side of the truck and that will complete the aesthetic look. And then we're gonna save a bunch of weight by not running the bed floor or the headboard. And we're also gonna be cutting out a bunch of excess metal in here that we don't need. So that is kind of the plan for the back half of the truck. It's gonna be really cool. Uh, one thing I would love to do when it's all done is get a tonneau cover for this thing. I've always loved a soft tonneau cover on these. And then I'm gonna try to utilize the factory tailgate take a bunch of weight out of it and then run a roll pan on this just so if we ever do take it down the street it's going to be a complete sleeper you won't be able to see the back half or anything like that obviously you'll be able to see the four link and the rear axle from the underside of the truck but i think it'll still look really cool and kind of give it more of a sleeper look as far as the interior of the truck goes i want to try and keep this thing as original as i can obviously it's going to be getting a full 10 point cage and it may even get a 25.6 cert chassis uh, which is just the 10 point cage with a bunch of added bars for safety. And then it will be certed to a 799. Now, obviously this truck in this configuration will probably never run close to that, especially only with a thousand horsepower. But I do want to build this thing so that I can grow into it a little bit more as we get more familiar with it and get everything straightened out. Uh, at some point I would love to shoot for like 1500 horsepower and swap to a 48 RE transmission instead of the Allison, just for shifting purposes. The 48 is a lot better in a drag racing kind of competition only use thing. So uh, yeah, that's a couple of the plans for the build. Um, going back to the interior, like I said, I wanna try and keep it mostly stock. So like just cool things like this, like the four wheel drive selector deal, this custom emblem, you know, stuff like that. I wanna try to keep in here, keep original and just make it look really sweet. Uh, so yeah, I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal. The interior is going to be pretty bare bones. Um, we'll probably end up with some Kirky racing seats or something. And then we're going to be building a custom dash for it for all the gauges. Uh, it's going to get a custom steering column, just stuff like that. Everything in a normal race car build. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a really cool project and I am really looking forward to this thing. So I wanna apologize for that being really long-winded. Like I tell you guys all the time, I hate listening to my dumbass talk. I don't know why you guys do it, but I do appreciate it. So there you have it. That is the proposed idea, I guess, of the 1970 C10 drag truck build. Uh, I think it's gonna be a really badass project and I am super pumped to get this thing done. Uh, so it's a lot of money, a lot of time, but uh, I'm gonna try and film it for you guys. I'm gonna try and get it done as quickly as I can but at the same time, not rush it and not cut corners on it. With that being said, I am trying to get the truck done for next year race season. Whether it's gonna happen or not, I'm not too sure. I don't wanna rush it and I don't wanna cut corners on it, but I am committed to this thing and I've already spent a ton of money on parts for it. So at this point in time, I just need to get building on the thing, start assembling it. I've got most of the stuff to put the truck together. So uh, over the next few months, we're gonna be working on this thing. If you guys want to keep up to date on this build, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the little bell icon below that subscribe button or next to it. I don't know. I think it's on the right side of it. Anyways, if you guys want to join the notification squad, make sure to hit that so you're notified every time I upload. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. One other thing I wanted to mention is we will be out at Ice Cream Cruise 2019 in Nebraska. I believe it's the 19th and 20th. I'm probably off a couple days, but uh, we will be out there. So if you see me or Hayden or any of the guys from Boosted Boys or whatever, make sure to come say hello. I love hearing from you guys. It always brightens my day seeing the fans in person. Uh, along with that, we will also be out at World Cup Finals. That is the 31st. We're going to be there the 31st through the 3rd. And uh, that is out in Maryland, I believe. So if you guys see us there, make sure to say hello uh, at that event as well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.